So welcome back to Worthington Model Railway. Uh, I have a Flying Scotsman t-shirt on, which is probably not quite right because today I'm going to talk about the Princess Coronation class, uh, the Coronation Scot, and uh, we're going to look at the new, both the new coaches against the old coaches and the latest version of the locomotive against previous versions of the locomotive and we'll see them both running on the layout. Uh, yeah, I did get enough time in in the last uh, 24 hours to to get some track laid and some wiring done, so I was actually able to run some locomotives tonight. So uh, let's just get on and look at the uh, Coronation Scott. the standard Digitrax DCC decoder in here. I'm just going to run it in both directions for half an hour or so. Um, I do have an ESU sound decoder on order and once that comes in we'll fit that. But for the moment we'll just run it without sound. So trying to find out when this first appeared. It's on the back cover of the uh, 1983 catalog under late arrivals. Now we go to the 19... Uh, 84 catalog and it actually is uh, definitely uh, featured amongst the steam locomotives in the 1984 catalog and uh, here we can see the uh, LMS 462 locomotive coloration class 8P as you can see, we can see it featured here in the catalog. So what I did was I pulled out uh, all four locomotives that I have. And starting at the top, we're going to go back to the 1980s version. Uh, the second one down is the 1990s version. If we look at these, we can see that they're a little short. Um, I think it was recognized that these were scale short. Uh, on the locomotives. The tenders not so much. If we look at the locomotives we can see that, that uh, training wheel is not really in the right place. Interestingly on these tenders this uh, whole LMS piece here is raised which it's it's not on the more modern ones. So the, the bottom two here bottom one is the uh, the latest and greatest and uh, the one above it is from the early 2000s. Now if we look at the major difference we see between the 1980 mid 80s to the mid 90s one is the wheels. Um, we go from black wheels here to blue wheels on this. And again, if we come down and look at the wheels, we'll see the wheels are quite different on that one from uh, the early 2000s to the, the latest version. Uh, in terms of the rest of the detail, it, it, it really is not that different. The cab detail is different. If we look at this one from the early 2000s, it's got glazing on both windows. Uh, the latest version only has glazing on one window. Uh, we'll see the pipes down here are uh, copper. If we go back up one, the pipes are just black plastic. Um, the other major issue that we're going to see between these latest ones is the handrails. So here yeah, the handrails, there really are no handrails on the earlier versions. And then if we actually look inside the cab, I found this quite interesting. When, when I look in the cab on this version, which is the one from the early 2000s, it's there's nothing in there. Um, we go to the, the latest version. 
if we look in the cab and we can see a lot of detail. The cab doors are bigger and there's all that detail in there on the cab. Now if we turn them upright, um, the immediate thing that you notice is on the earlier versions there is the black on the roof. There is no black roof sliding on the 2000s one. Uh, the latest one does however have the, uh, the sliding roof here that opens and closes. And similarly, if we look at the uh, the whistle and the uh, steam vents, they're basically identical on these two. On the earlier ones, they're just black. There really is no detail on those. And the handrails also have changed a little. Uh, they're, the handrails are individually fitted on these earlier models. Uh, on the later models though, there are uh, handrails uh, fitted, but they're, uh, they're silver as opposed to, to black on the earlier ones. And when we come to look at the tenders, there, there really is very little difference on the tenders, apart from the fact that these ones have that nasty, massive screw in them, which became smaller, but uh, has disappeared on the later versions. What's immediately noticeable is the double chimneys on both of these earlier versions and the single chimney on the later versions. At the front of these um, we do notice that the sprung buffers on the new one are silver um, that version does also have sprung buffers. The earlier versions don't. Um, the way that the uh, the lining goes into the nose is is just slightly different between the newer and the older versions. The one other thing I notice is on the uh, 2000 version, there are steps on the front which we don't see on the latest version. I mean, it may well be in the pack to be added, but uh, it's, it's not there. There's a definite difference in the way the lining comes around the front. Uh, if we look at the older versions, um, it's, it, it's, it, you can see the lining is different, and on the latest version, it is different again from the one from the early 2000s. And the other thing I just noticed is that the hatches are different on these. If we look at this one, you see we have uh, two circular hatches and two small ones, which is actually the same as the, uh, the older models. But uh, we get onto the latest one, we have an oval hatch there with the two smaller ones. I think you can see the oval there. Uh, the other thing is also we have these two, I'm not quite sure what they are, but we have these these two uh, things here which are not on the older model. Is the coal loads are different. Uh, I think you can probably see these all have basically exactly the same coal load. But when we get to the new one, the coal load is, uh, is finer and uh, has a more of an angle to it. And, and the other thing is that that back area of the tender there is black in here. Um, on these, it's uh, it's blue. So look at the coaches. Um, I pulled out a third brake, a first class coach. I don't have a composite in the blue, but I have a composite in the red. Uh, so you can sort of just look and see how these coaches differ. Um, from the side, they're basically you know, similar. Um, can't see a lot of difference, but let's pull out the, uh, the new coaches and put them side by side. So to start with, we'll look at the first class car. Um, obviously, the top one is a 65 foot. So from that point of view, it is uh, definitely different. If we look at the, uh, the two first class, the top one is a new one. The bottom one is the, 
the older one on the 57 foot um, there is obviously a difference right uh, in terms of the way the lining is put together uh, in terms of the undercarriage and some of the other components however I don't think we can really fault the the old one too much um, it, it certainly looks good I mean we can see the difference here there obviously is a difference um, let me just zoom in a little bit so we can start to see some of the differences here in terms of the the, the, the bogies and the undercarriage and the lining um, the lining is obviously somewhat more detailed and different on the newer one that we can see there versus the the older one uh, I'm going to turn them over so we can look at the there's roof. a considerable difference here on the roof <laughs> the older one uh, versus the two newer ones the roof detail is is very different looking at the third break here we can see considerable differences um, it, it, just the undercarriage the wheels the bogies I mean that is all very very different uh, let's just sort of zoom in here we can see the detail on the windows in the the guards van here and there's none of that there and again uh, the detail in terms of the lining and, and the, what we're seeing is, is very different. I mean, just looking at the, the windows and what we're seeing printed on the windows versus what we have up here. Um, just sort of night and day. Uh, I, 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 it's difficult to even compare these because they're just, they're just so different. Um, the other thing is that uh, we have s the sprung buffers, which obviously we don't have on the on the older version. So I, I would say that uh, it, it's very difficult to compare these. I mean, it's, it's we're not we're just not in the same ballpark in terms of uh, what we're seeing. I just show the roof detail. Um, it's obvious. <laughs> <laughs> There's a major difference here. The top one being the the newer version. This is the 2000s, early 2000s uh, locomotive with the old coaches. Understanding uh, the Royal Scot, um, the rear being the London end. This is the standard uh, coach configuration, so that's what I'm going to put behind the, uh, the new. This is the latest uh, locomotive and all the new coaches in the right order.
Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video showing the differences between the older and newer versions of both locomotives and coaches. Please like and subscribe. You'll find a subscribe button to the top right. Another video to the top left.